when authorities from the Early Childhood Services Unit realized that over 2,000 children were unable to return to preschool for different reasons during the COVID-19 pandemic, they came up with the concept for the e-learning series Kaleidoscope Adventures. Kaleidoscope Adventures is a 16-week program that revolves on a carefully selected list of children's books by both local and foreign writers. The episodes are designed to cover a wide range of topics, including social-emotional development, language and literacy, problem-solving, the arts, and movement. According to UNICEF, children were amongst the biggest victims of the pandemic as relates to their learning, development, and well-being. Therefore, it was imperative for us to capitalize on the funding to help minimize the impact of COVID-19 on our children. Also, because of the valuable lesson brought about by the pandemic, we had to think ahead and put measures in place to help deal with disasters, which, as we know, can occur at any given time without any notice. Training officer with the Early Childhood Services Unit, Wilk Phillips Favrier, says every effort should be spared to ensure the nation's youngest and most vulnerable citizens be given every opportunity to thrive excel and realize their true potential amidst an ever-changing and chaotic environment. Environment. We are all ever cognizant of the disruption the COVID-19 pandemic has caused over the past two years. As we continue to strive to understand and successfully navigate the myriad of challenges presented by this situation, as the guardians and custodians of our youngest children's not only educational, but holistic development, the onus is on us to consistently assess the situation, identify the challenges, and formulate the best, most feasible, and impactful strategies to overcome them. Dr. Kim Gardner, pediatrician and a director of the Child Development and the Guidance Center, said the UNICEF-funded initiative will also provide preschool and toddler packs to 200 children who are unable to access the program via the internet medium, allowing them to participate. She says the original initiative comprises three components. ECD teacher training in online instruction a psychosocial support group for parents of children with disabilities, and finally, a fun online learning platform or web series, as well as distributed learning packets for vulnerable children who would have limited access to the online learning and school. The first two objectives, i.e. the teacher training and psychosocial support have already occurred. And today we launched the final piece, Kaleidoscope Adventures, our web-based series a series that can be used as a learning tool for children who have no access to preschool or as a supplementary tool for those that do. Early Childhood Development Specialist for UNICEF's Eastern Caribbean office, Shelly Ann Harper, says it's the duty of every jurisdiction and by extension designated organizations which deal with the welfare of children to ensure their rights are protected. She said the right to quality education is one that is ensured through the Kaleidoscope Adventures Initiative. There's no magic in a child developing well. There's no magic in a child, you know, learning to communicate and express itself, learning to write and read, learning to work together. It is a process to which all of us contribute. The launch of the UNICEF-backed Kaleidoscope Adventures follows two years of planning and execution. The Kaleidoscope Adventures website and other online media will be used to give preschool-based material, education to parents, and parental advice. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.